Malcolm here at Sharpening Supplies and today we're going to be talking about the professional precision adjust from Workshop. The professional precision adjust is a guided sharpener the Workshop have created building on their years of experience in creating great sharpening products. Let's have a look at what's included. We'll start with the base. It is really sturdy. They've got a rubber feet that go all the way around and they've included some mounting holes if you want to secure this to your workbench or to something heavy. But on its own, it's unlikely that this is going to move. Next up, we have the sharpening chassis and this mounts in place with a couple of screws. I like that on the screws, they've got a space for a hex wrench. They're really easy to screw in by hand, but if you're having a little bit of trouble, you can use a hex wrench and just tighten those up nice and easy. The sharpening chassis is what will allow you to set the angle for your sharpening. It's also got a few other features that we'll get to in a moment. Next up, we have the V-mount clamp. This is the main way that you'll hold your knives in place when sharpening using the precision adjust. It will slot right in. We've got a button on this side for when we want to flip our knives over. All in all, so far, really sturdy construction. The jaws have a handy little pinch grip so you can open them up before you insert your knife. And then the jaws themselves are lined with rubber so you're not going to scratch the sides of your knife. And then for simpletons like me, they've written what direction you need to tighten it in order to hold your knife securely. Next up, we've got the guide rod. The abrasives will magnetically attach to this and we've also got a ceramic rod here for sharpening serrations. It's got a lot of reach on it and we've also got these rubber washers that will allow us to set how far we want our abrasives to travel when we're sharpening our knives. This just screws into the sharpening chassis. Similarly to the nuts on the side, got space for a little hex key in case you're having trouble tightening that up, you can put this in there. Here's one of the features on the chassis that I hinted at earlier. The guide rod will slot into the top here, out of the way when you're making different adjustments or when you're just storing this on your bench. The Pro Precision Adjust comes with seven abrasives. As mentioned, these attach magnetically and they've also got little holes to help you line it up exactly on the guide rod. We have five diamond abrasive. We have a 220, 320, 400 grit, 600 grit, and an 800 grit diamond. Then we've got a ceramic and then a leather strop that's already been preloaded with compound. Diamond abrasives are great because nothing's harder than a diamond. So no matter what kind of steel you've got on your knife, these abrasives will be able to sharpen it. I've got a special edition of the Benchmade bug out inserted into the Professional Precision Adjust. This has a 20 CV blade on it. Quite a abrasive resistant steel, but these diamond abrasives are gonna be able to handle it nice and easy. You can set your angle just by adjusting the knob here. I think Benchmade say that they send them out with like a 30 to 35 degree inclusive angle. So 15 to 17 degrees on each side. I'm gonna set this to about 17 degrees and sharpen it to that. I think that'll work for this knife. One thing you might notice is that there isn't a 17 on here and the actual sharpening angle is always gonna be impacted by how wide the blade is. The further out your edge is, that's gonna impact where your abrasive sits and what the actual angle is gonna be. But Workshop have thought of that, so they've included a digital angle indicator. Set it on the table, turn it on and zero it out so that it's at the same level as your precision adjust. And then it will just clip on at the very top of the rod arm. We can sit our abrasive on the knife, so I want to adjust this to 17. And there we have it. Really nice, quick and easy way to make sure I'm sharpening at exactly the angle that I want, no matter the knife. When we're sharpening and we're done with one side and we've raised a burr all along the edge, in order to get to the other side, we want to flip the knife over. So with this knife, all we have to do is push down the little red button and then we can flip the knife over. Nice and easy and then we can get back to sharpening. For larger knives, the blade might not clear your table surface and they've thought of that too. So you can pull this lever up and you can tilt the whole chassis back 
And so for larger knives, you can just as easily rotate them and get back to sharpening really quickly. There's another accessory that they've got that I really like, and that is the clamp support. So we've got a little table that just sits under the clamp. This is intended for any particularly heavy or large knives so that that extra weight is supported under the clamp. With the table in place, you can't rotate the knife without tilting it back, but tilting it back is really quick and easy. So sharpening small knives, particularly at low angles, has always been a problem for any system that uses a jaw to clamp the knife in place. We figured out a workaround. You can watch that video up here. But Workshop have given it some thought as well, and they've come up with their own solution. The small knife table that inserts in place of the clamp. Just remove the clamp and then put the table in its place. This will allow you to take particularly small knives magnetically attach on here and you've got a couple of really small adjustments that you can make. This is a tiny little Victoria Knox blade. It's got two solid points of contact on there and we can sharpen the edge at a low angle here. So this is another nice accessory that comes with the Professional Precision Adjust that really expands its capabilities. If you've got knives that are particularly small that you've struggled to use with guided systems that clamp the knife in place, this small knife table solves that problem. Finally, I do have to talk about the instructions. Please read them. The workshop do a really great job of making them be mainly pictures, so even people like myself can understand them. This will tell you exactly how to use all of the features of the Professional Precision Adjust. If you like the look of the Professional Precision Adjust, let us know in the comments what is it that has impressed you. If you don't like it, let us know what further improvements you think could be made. Comment below. If you want to get the Professional Precision Adjust, I'll leave a link in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like.